Now, you have seen a lot about northern Uganda if you are a regular viewer of 100 Huntley Street. Uh, our missions department has um, been very ably led by Dave Shelley into this area, and there is such excellent work going on there. We've had some of the principal leaders there here in the studio from time to time over the past few years, and you're going to be hearing more about Uganda uh, in the near future. But uh, I've got uh, Dave uh, Shelley here with us, and he has with him Dave Miklash and Bridget Huber. Welcome. Are you comfortable on that couch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like you're ready to fall asleep there. Oh, uh, no, no. Dave, no. Right? <laughs> but uh, before we talk to uh, Dave McClash and uh, Bridget Huber, uh, Dave Shelley, uh, tell, set this up. What, why, why were uh, Dave and, and uh, Bridget there, and, and, and what's, what's happening? Well, as you can see from the clip, Barlonio was one of those areas that was really hardly hit, you know, hard hit with that massacre. And when I first went there, I mean, I, I had community meetings. I mean, just the stress and the strain on the people's faces because no one was helping them. Uh, they, they made a monument, but that was it. And so we went in there with agriculture to get them growing their own food. That, that was where we started. But in some areas, as you know, Jim, you, you need to do something extra. Hmm. You, you, gotta get, you gotta get right into the community and, and stick with them over a longer period. And, you know, the people here are the poorest of the poor. Uh, many of them do, are, are widows um, and orphans. And so what we decided to do was put a, a missions teams together, uh, led by David Miklash, and we're going to build a school there. Um, we're not only helping with the agriculture, we're going to build a school, we're going to help with clean water, we're going to help with medical clinics. And so uh, the first team has already gone. Uh, done a great job because I just got back a week ago from northern mm -hmm. Uganda to kind of see how did things go and the people are so grateful uh, and we want to do another team so we want to encourage people first of all to give today because we need to raise the funds to build the school and secondly we're going to encourage them uh, listen if you want your life changed uh, go on the next team mm -hmm. and uh, so we're going to talk about what happened on the first team uh, today yeah now Dave uh, you're leading these groups um, how long were you there and what did you do? We were there for about 15 days. Yeah. Um, we constructed the school in conjunction with the local people. That's really important to know that it isn't just us, that they lead it. It's their strategic approach to what they're going to be doing. So we worked on the school. Uh, we got it built right up to rafter stage and almost to roof stage mm. in two weeks. Mm. We conducted a medical clinic. <clears throat> I think it's really important to know that those people get the sense that we are personally involved with them. We care about them individually, care about their kids, about their families. And the best way to do that is to take a look at what they're suffering from. Mm. They've just talked about food. They're starving. Mm. Uh, the next thing is they don't have proper medical care. They don't have any medical care. So to bring immediate care to their families, to their kids, shows the love of Christ individually. The other part of it is we restored a borehole. Mm. Uh, we restored a borehole because as we were doing the medical clinics, the reports are coming back from, from our doctors and our nurses and, and the people working there that these people are all full of worms. Yeah. They say, well, we're... Oh, where are you getting your water from? And they took me to the place where they're getting the water, and it was a cesspool. Yeah. And, and they said, well, why would we treat these people when they're going to go back and drink the water again? Immediately called Dave Shelley and said, Dave, what are we going to do? He said, restore the borehole. Well, Dave, we've, we've raised money in the past for restoring <coughs> yes, boreholes in northern Uganda, right? Yes, yeah. we have. We've done a lot. We've done 31. We're going to be doing more. Yeah. And, uh, and, but this is a, a great um, example of... of knowing what the community needs and immediately jumping in and saying, you know what, we need their borehole fixed as well. And until you get in community, sometimes you're not aware that of, of what the needs really you are. You know, I remember the scandal a little over a decade ago. Uh, was it um, Walkerton water yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. was found to be contaminated? And I mean, Canadians were horrified at that. Well, <laughs> millions and millions and millions of people around the world, especially in Africa, are living with something much more horrific than Walkerton. And uh, waterborne diseases are a huge issue, 
And you're absolutely right. Why, why even deal with the people if they're just going to go back and drink the water? Was this your first time there, Bridget? Yes, it was. Now, uh, you're still assimilating and, 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 yes. and processing, I'm sure. Yes, yes I am. What, was, what, what struck you most when you were there? I think what struck me most was just um, how much need there was and how much we we're able to make a difference as North Americans with the plenty that we have, how much we we're able to make a difference there. Uh, the borehole that Dave referred to, it was only a thousand dollars to to fix that borehole and that'll impact that entire area. Yeah. It'll impact them health wise and it'll impact them for the Lord as well because just having that clean water and that medical care provided made such a difference for so many of them spiritually. Now, uh, we, we've, we've got a lot more time to talk about this, but I, w I want to introduce something now. Um, uh, Crossroads have made a commitment to what we call citizen journalism. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of this. In, the, in fact, I, I don't think it's an overstatement to say this is the beginning of a new era um, for Crossroads and, and, and maybe for Christian television in general. Because we're going to have an army, if you will, <laughs> of, of uh, people all around the world with one of these. See that little thing? It's called a, uh, it's called a, f a flip uh, video made by Cisco. I mean, look at this. And we're going to see something as an example of what an everyday person who has no real camera skills, no, pers <laughs> no, personal, no, no personal affront, Dave, shoot one of these things in the right direction, uh, what they can accomplish. And uh, we're, we're going to be we're going to be calling it um, my view. You'll be hearing more about this, and it'll be formally announced uh, soon. But this just a little taste, and let's see what uh, David Miklash came up with with one of these. We are in Balonyo, a place which was heavily attacked by the LRA in 2004, and we have a team that has been. Uh, welcomed by Victor Ministries. This team is uh, alongside International, working together with Crossroads. They are helping us to construct a school to cater for uh, the needs of the children in this place. At the same time, they are doing medical clinic. You know, this medical clinic has never happened in this place. My involvement has been mostly uh, putting mortar on the wall, putting mortar between the blocks, and just having fun with the people here. How's the job going, Dan? Wonderful. Excellent, excellent quality workmanship and wonderful people to work with. Hello, today is Friday and it is 3.30 in the afternoon here, 37 Celsius, very humid today. The men have been working really well. We've got all the outside walls of the building done finishing off the center walls between the classrooms and then we're starting to, on the back corner, frame up to, or the lintel, put wire inside and then hopefully tomorrow we're going to start pouring the cement to build the lintel and then next week it will be doing, starting the timber, building the trusses for the roof. I am Pastor Alex uh, of Victory Outreach Ministries, Balonyo. I am happy of what the team that came from Canada did and the result of the medical ministry has really made a big change in our church. When the dog bites and the bee sting, then I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite thing and then I don't feel so bad. So bad. 